Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will going to discuss OpenSQL versus a web CDS. So you, when we work day to day programming, some of the things we can achieve using SQL as well and CDS as well. Should I have to create CDS for each and everything, or I can create normal SQL and SQL as well. In my this throughout the ABAP on HANA course, we have discussed about the what all are the open SQL enhancement, what all are the different kind of CDS are available, and how what all are the different things in both the both the places we have seen. But we saw a lot of things what we can achieve through open SQL, we can achieve through ABAP CDS as well. I, I was going through today my comment sections. One of the my frequent viewer, Bharat, was asking like that. This is very correct questions. When we can do almost everything in CDS as well as regular open SQL, why do we go for CDS in real world? This is the question. And what do developer like you do on daily basis? He's asking me, do you do do you go for CDS or you simply write open SQL query? Then again, he asked uh, something about ALV IDA, which I will explain my second video of ALV IDA, which yet to create. I didn't create it yet. And what will be your reason to choose CDS over OpenSQL? This is very important questions. And when we work really in the real time question, real time world, then this will come. Should I create OpenSQL or should I write CDS for this? And that I have called, that should I call in my ABAP program. So we'll try to answer these questions. I went through some of the blogs. Then I got this very nice quotation regarding this ABAP CDS and OpenSQL. This is very true as well. ABAP CDS and OpenSQL are not a competitor at all. So CDS are not created to replace the SQL or we can say in other way. In, in the contrary, they complete each other. What things we can't do using the SQL we can do using the CDS. And what things we can't do using the CDS that we can do using the SQL as well. So there are the different purpose of both the things. So we should not combine and get confused in between them. These are not a competitor at all. So we will, how these are not competitor, we will see that. First we will see when to use open SQL over the CDS. It's a very simple answer. When you write day-to-day -day ABAP programming, for whatever you can achieve through the open SQL statement, suppose I'm writing the code, I'm fetching the data from the multiple table, two, three, to four tables, and I'm getting the final result. And I'm writing some enhancement, I'm writing the select query. It's in, inside the enhancement, inside the reports, simple, simple select query we are writing, we are combining two, three tables and getting the data from the database. We can do using open SQL. Why we have to create CDS for that? No, no use of. Nowadays, the developers, what they are doing, since, since they are thinking like that, CDS are the advanced concept. We can create the CDS for each and everything. Then we will consume in the our ABAP, uh, each and everything in the in the our report. It's not required because our SQL itself, it is that much advanced. Whatever the CDS can do, that can be done in the our open SQL enhancement itself. So most of the things, 90, I can say 90% of the things we can achieve through the open SQL. We should not go for the CDS in day-to-day -day ABAP programming. But the thing is that uh, there are the, some of the things uh, where we can't use CDS at all that we have to use open SQL only. Like the dynamic date we are using, we are doing the dynamic programming, like uh, we are uh, right, fetching the data from the database dynamically there's we are not passing the table table name we are passing dynamically or field name we are passing dynamically that kind of visibility knows not available in the cds there we have to use uh, open sql apart from that if you want to use for all entries when to use for all entries you will say i can use join in cds why to use for all entries but sometime what happen i'm creating the join between two table one table is buffered at the database level i can and uh, I, for that, I have to get the data from the buffer table and for another table, I have to hit the database. For that, I can use the for all entries. So in that way, I have to use for all entries because if I make a join and I hit the database, in that case, that buffer data, which is available on the application server, that will be not accessed. We are going unnecessary for the same data, which is available on the application server. We are going unnecessarily to database and fetching the data. 
we should not create the join between the fully buffer table or buffer table on the application server and non buffer table on the application server you have to get the buffer data and another based on the buffer data if you want to get another data then use for all entries that's a very very important things when we are working day to day some sometime programmer do zones we can create nowadays we simply go and create the zones without thinking anything if you have zone think what if something already even the slim if you execute uh, or uh, or uh, our uh, what we can say abap cockpit you will execute that that, that will also give, give the error you are joining the table which is buffered on the application server you should not join those table you have to get the data from that table independently then you can use for all entries for that the for all entries are not available on cds that another thing so that for that purpose you have to go for the sql only or we have to manipulate the database or sub cds only can get the data from the database it can't modify the data ref we can do that's a different part of abap again abap on cloud so i don't want to go in that one but i'm discussing about normal day to day abap programming which we use nowadays when we discuss about ref we will discuss about ref also but we can't use cds for the updating modifying and deleting normal cds views we till now whatever we have discussed ddic based cds view cds entities cds table functions these can't be used to update and modify the data in the database we have to use sql queries only for that modify update and delete queries are there but when to use cds now next question wherever we can use open sql first thing we can use we should use open sql only in our web programming we should not unnecessarily create the cds view and that we will i saw sometime uh, one of the important thing i executed it might be right and it might not be right i saw that open sql same if i am writing the open sql that query and i created cds for that and that i am calling in my abap program that is taking more time than our enhanced open sql so enhanced i am talking about the enhanced open sql means i can do lot of things whatever the cds can do in their things uh, uh, enhanced open sql also do aggregation it can do union it can do it can apply lot of string functions it can apply lot of case statement lot those all things can be done nowadays in sql itself why to create cds i saw sometime i created with the same open sql and same cds open sql is working far better than the cds multi in the multiple executions that because something can be achieved by because ultimately both are both will be running on the database only open sql also through the database interface going and running in the database and cds also whatever we call in our directly that cds view that will be also called through the net database interface and directly running uh, that that will be also running on the database if you call through the select query so why why we why we have to create unnecessary cds something can be achieved by open sql that is the first thing now we will go for why to when we really require the cds in our abap program report program when we create the first thing i think i have explained everything in this slide the first thing when we have reusability so you have to think why we were created view before database view what was the purpose of database view we were having table then i am talking about the classical concept we were having the table and we were having the database view why we will be we were needed uh, that database view because we we needed database view we we want don't want to write again and again same code in our abap program so that is the reason we have created join between vba k and vbap and place one and some of the frequently used field that placed one place directly we can call directly that particular view in our abap program same way cds will be useful here what we have to do some cds you some of the queries are frequently used suppose some of the queries you you are creating five six programs you are writing that same query in all the six program due to all the six pro programs so why to write separate separate queries in that case you can go for the cds you can create one cds and directly that cds you can call one place you have wrote, wrote your logic whatever the complex logic that you can consume directly you can consume that cds in your open sql that is reusability something we have to reuse that query again and again reusable then we can go for the cds view that is the purpose of view basically second when we need the access control on select you know when we write select query in normal abap program there is no access control there is no access control applied at all you will fetch the data any user will fetch the data he can fetch the data from the database and it can be displayed 
But when you create the CDS, we have something called CDS access control that I that also I have explained in my five in the five videos very detail. CDS access control will be applied whenever you consume CDS entities. So always use and one more important thing whenever you are consuming the CDS, you don't use view the the if you are using DDIC based view, don't use the SQL view name. You have to use always CDS entity. What all are these things SQL view and CDS entity? You don't know. Go and watch out the uh, difference between the DDIC based view and SQL view. That that is the new kind of view. CDS view entities difference between them. You will get to know what what is that SQL view and what is CDS entity. I have already explained my previous videos. Always consume the CDS entity. In CDS view entity, we don't have SQL view at all. We have to consume CDS entity only. So when we are consuming those CDS entities, then that CDS entity might be that CDS entities we have already used DCL. That DCL will be automatically applied when we consume that particular uh, CDS we will call in our select statement. So this is again one important thing. When we want to apply authority on select level, then we have to use CDS entity. Because if you write normal select, there will be no authority check will be applied and it will fetch all the data from the database. So this is the use of CDS. This is the second use of. This can't be achieved by OpenSQL. That is the reason we are using OpenSQL, that's CDS view. Then third is old data service creation through annotations. You know, now it, we previously I will create a uh, lot of users, a lot of uh, viewers are asking create the series on old data. I will create soon. First, let me finish ABAP on HANA. I am at the last moment on ABAP on HANA. We have ALV idea and something called native SQL. Once I finish, I will create on that also. But old data service, we can create previously we are used to use SEZWT code and we have to create the project and a lot of things we have to do. Now, nowadays we have simple annotations. We can use one liner or annotations, read the CDS, or data service out of CDS. So, those kind of things we can do using CDS, not, not using the SQL statements. So, this is the advantage of CDS. We are using domain specific metadata. You know, a lot of annotations are available in SQL. We don't have any. In the, OD, uh, in the our domain specific metadata means uh, if you have fury specific annotations, we can add in our CDS. O data specific annotation we can use if analytical purpose we are using CDS that those annotations also we can use that will be very helpful performance related annotations we can use if really required to improve the performance. So these all the things we, are, we can do in the CDS not in the select queries. So that is very HANA specific capabilities we can use HANA specific things we can do using the CDS means something related to HANA we have to suppose we are, I want to improve the performance and I, I know I have to annotate an object data model and that performance related annotations which I have explained in my previous video links link also there you can watch that one I am specifying that criteria and I want to use that kind of uh, I am working with HANA database then you can use CDS if your program is not working properly and if you want to consume the database related things then you can do those, those those kind of things. Next thing is modification free extensibility. When we, we no need to modify when we work with the, this is again one remaining topic, how to extend the CDS view, standard CDS view. That also I will explain in, in up, um, upcoming videos. So modification free extensibility means you can modify the CDS view without modifying actually. You just have to aid that particular what all are the fields you want to modify in that particular CDS view. But you can't do in the select query. If you have already in a standard ABAP program when select query is written, if you want to aid, you have to really modify because that's a ring, single select statement. You have to modify that statement. And SQL function is available only in CDS and can push down logic to the database. Some of the things uh, are available only in the CDS. Which, we, which is still not part of the open SQL, uh, we can say, which is not part of the enhanced open SQL and those functions are available on CDS. There are some of the functions which is not available is still on, which is available on CDS and which is not available on SQL, enhanced SQL. Then we have to obviously go for CDS. We don't have other choice. We, 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 are, we are not having other choice. For one of the example I saw, quantity conversion functions not available still in the our normal select uh, in it, till now I saw 7.55 version I saw the documentation there I can say quantity conversion function uh, function directly function which we can use on the field level of the select list that is not available in the SQL but it is available in the CDS. 
that is very important something is available in cds and which is not available in sql then obviously we have to create the cd there is no other way and last thing when we need to create data model which can across technology obviously cd is what is the cds purpose cds purpose something we have to create that can be used across the technology reusability again i can say i can use in the bopf i can use in the rep programming i can use in the our data somewhere i once i create the data model that is the modeling purpose why we have created cds basic purpose of cds cds create the model that can be consumed across the different different technologies that is that was the basic motive behind sap create the cds so they can use once they create the data model they can co consume across the different different technologies no need to create for separate separate technologies separate 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 data model suppose what were one of the in the web what was the doc, what was the uh, data model you know of view sql view was the our uh, database view was the, our basic data model was there that we were consuming directly in the select but we can create now complex data model that also we can consume in the our day to day select statement if it is needed but not needed now we if we have to reuse data model why we create because, because we want to reuse those data model different different places that is the use of the data model i try to explain when to use open sql and when to use cds based on my experience and whatever i have read through the some of the blogs some of the books and as much as possible but it is always when i am explaining it may might have added my point also that is not that might be not true if you think like that this is the not right statement if you want to have a discussion please write down in the comment section so it will be useful for other views apart from what i have explained something else you know that also you can write out write it down in comment section because this particular topic is very on discussable topic i can say i didn't find exact documentation or exact things on the of any of the uh, any of the documentation of the sap i found some of the blogs or i find some of the books or some other places i find but exact uh, i didn't find which is what is the usability of what web because why sap didn't give this kind of thing because they they thought that both the things have different purpose that is the reason they might have not given but for for a backward perspective because we we can use write the code in the report program using cds and open sql as well so we might confuse sometime but no need to confuse so as per my opinion wherever we can use open sql best way go for the open sql and something not available in open sql then go for the cds that is the thumb rule is i can say they have already uh, i seen one of the open sap course also there also they have telling like the same thing wherever you can go for open sql learn open do the open sql you are not able to achieve something through open sql go for the cds and if you have and another thing they told multiple usability purpose obviously that is the work of the data model you can create one data model and use across the different different programs so that is the purpose still what i feel that i might have missed some point or i might have explained little bit incorrectly but pardon me and if you if you think like that then the always the this is the forum you can write down in comment section it will be helpful for the other viewers as well with that thank you and happy learning and please subscribe to my channel i have i have explained abap on hana in detail from first to last video and as much as in the deep it you will not find like that uh, i skip some of the topics which will gonna i gonna cover some of the topics uh, i have skipped like vdm virtual data model and how to extend the cds and native sql queries how can write those things those are the topics uh, uh is still not covered that will also i will try to cover in upcoming video so please be tune on and please subscribe to my channel and like this video and subscribe share this videos with others as well thank you